Hey art friends, welcome to today's how-to. Today I'll be teaching you how to draw a sonic. So first we're going to start in the middle of our page and we're going to start by drawing a nice big oval shape for the nose. And now coming behind this, we're going to frame in the eyes. So starting directly in the middle, we're going to curve our line down. We're going to bring this up and over towards the right hand side. And then we're just going to curve this back down and we're going to bring this in towards the nose. We're going to move back onto our middle line now. And we're going to curve this up all the way over to the left. We're going to curve this around at the side. And then now from here, we're just going to curve this back down and in towards our nose. Moving over to the inside now, on this left side, we're going to draw a nice big oval shape. And then on the right side, we're going to draw our oval shape curving up towards the top. Over on this left side, we're going to draw another small oval shape for the highlight of the eye. And then we're going to move over to our right side and we're going to draw our oval shape just towards the edge of that line. Now coming around this, we're going to come over to the left side. We're going to curve a line that comes up and we're just going to follow the shape of the eye bringing this down. And then moving over to the right, we're going to curve this line up over towards the right and then we're going to bring this back in on that line. Moving underneath now, we're going to frame in the muzzle. So we're going to start by curving this line out towards the left. We're going to bring this all the way underneath and then we're just going to curve this back in towards our line on the top. Moving over to the left now, we're going to draw in the ear. So we're going to start by drawing a line that comes across. And then from here, we're going to curve our line up towards the top and then we're going to curve it back down. Moving behind this now, we're just going to follow the shape. So we're going to arch this up and then bringing it back down on the right. And then now from here, we're going to start framing in the um, hair behind. So starting over on this right side, I'm going to start by curving my line all the way over towards the left. And then I'm just gonna bring a line down. Now I'm going to come behind the ear on this left side and I'm going to curve another line out towards the left. And then I'm going to arch this line back in towards the face. I'm going to again bring this line out all the way to the left, arching it down this time. And then now we're going to bring this back in towards the face, just like that. Moving in towards the mouth now, I'm going to draw a curved line over to the left. And then now I'm going to draw a curved line that comes down and in towards the middle. We're going to move over to our right side. We're going to draw the second ear. So we're gonna bring a line that comes out towards the right of our page, and then we're gonna arch this down towards the eyebrow. And then now coming behind this, we're just gonna follow this again. So we're gonna arch this up towards the top and then curving this back down towards the bottom. Now coming in underneath, we're going to draw a large circle for the stomach, bringing that up towards the top. And then now inside of here, we're just gonna follow that shape again. So we're gonna arch this around, bringing this all the way over towards our right line. And then as we come to the top here, we're just going to imagine that this follows through and we're going to arch a small line up and over towards the bottom of the mouth. We're going to form the left arm first and then we'll move over to the right after. So coming over to this left side, we're going to curve a line that comes down towards the bottom. We're going to step a little bit lower and we're just going to follow that and do the exact same thing. Now we're going to curve a line that comes up all the way over to the left and then arching it back in. And then now we're going to follow that again. So we're going to arch this down, curving it in. We're going to do the same thing on the left, arching it down, curving it in. And now moving below, we're just going to form a letter C. From here now, we're going to curve our line that comes out. We're going to bring it down, arching it back over to the side, and then bringing it up. From behind here now, for the thumb, we're going to arch this around. We're going to bring this up towards the top. As we get over to that line, we're just going to continue to arch this out towards the left and we're going to bring this down. As we get to here now, we're going to bring that line down towards the bottom, bringing it over and curving it in. Now from here, we're going to draw in another line. So we're going to curve this down. We're going to bring this over to the right and then we're going to arch it back up to our other finger. And then coming back over to this left side, we're just going to curve one more line that comes up. Now moving over to the right, we're going to draw a line that comes out and then we're going to step a little bit lower and do the same thing. Now from here, we're going to arch a line that comes up like we did on the left and then arching it back down. 
We're going to move back in here. We're gonna arch this back out towards the right, bringing this all the way across, and then we're gonna curve this back in in the middle. Now on this left side, we're going to bring our line down. And then from here, we're gonna arch this out towards the left, bringing this all the way back up and over towards the middle. And then now from here, I'm going to arch my line out, down. We're gonna arch it at the end, bringing this all the way up, back over towards the top. And then from the middle here, I'm going to just follow that line. So arching it out, curving it around, bringing it back in towards that finger. And we're gonna do this one more time. So we're gonna arch this down, bringing this out, and then arching that back in towards our other finger. Now moving in towards the bottom, we're going to draw in the legs. So starting on this right side, I'm going to bring a line that comes straight down, stepping over, doing the same thing. I'm going to move over to my left side now. I'm going to do that one more time, stepping over to the right, doing that one more time. Now I'm going to come over on this right side and I'm going to curve a line that's going to come all the way around and back in towards the side. I'm going to do the same thing on the left. Now on this right side, I'm going to curve my line around and then in. I'm going to do the same thing on the right. I'm gonna follow this around and do this one more time, but as I come around to the bottom, I'm just gonna arch it back up towards the top. Moving over to the left, our line is going to reach our thumb there. We're gonna imagine it comes through and then we're gonna curve it around underneath. We're gonna move over to the right, arching it around and curving it back in. And then we're gonna drop below. We're gonna arch this down all the way across and then back up towards the top. And now we're gonna come in and draw in the feet. So starting on this right side, I'm going to start by curving a line that comes down towards the bottom right. I'm gonna step over to the left, arching this line down. And then now I'm just going to connect these lines together with a nice curved line, bringing it all the way up and over to the right. Inside of here now, we're just going to draw an arch line that comes down towards the bottom. We're gonna step over to the left slightly and we're just gonna do the same thing. This time our foot's going to be facing forward. So we're gonna come out on the left, we're gonna curve our line down and then in towards the bottom. And we're gonna do the same thing on the right, curving it down and then in towards the bottom. Now from here, we're going to close this off with a curved line. And now moving up towards the top, I'm going to draw a little square on the left. And then now from here, I'm going to arch a line that comes all the way around to the right. We're going to step back up just above this and we're going to draw one more. It's gonna reach that bottom line. We're gonna imagine it follows through and we're gonna come down on the right and just draw that through. Moving over to the top again, we're gonna curve one more strand that comes down. So we're gonna arch a line that comes down through our arm. We're gonna imagine this follows through all the way to the bottom of the hand. And then now from here, we're just going to curve this back in towards the stomach there. And then we're just going to draw the tail. So we're simply just going to draw a small triangle that comes out towards the left and then back in towards our leg. And that is it, that's how you draw Sonic. You guys can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. And also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial and I'll see you guys on the next one.